Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to the Crypto Moses channel. I'm really excited about this video. A lot of you guys keep asking this and I'm so sorry, I just never thought to do this. But I'm going to make you guys today a video on one of my favorite meme token trading strategies. People keep asking, what's the best way to get in and get out of a meme token? And it is very much situational, but situational based, just like all trading is. Like some people's pockets are bigger than others. So their risk tolerance is a lot bigger. Some people have a money printing machine in the background that allows them to take way bigger risks. Many people have no money printing machine in the background. So it's very critical about every dollar they take a risk on. I, I think one thing I really want to say is if your goal is to make meme or trading in general, your financial way of making your monthly income or your money, that is 100% doable. I've done it. Many of my friends have done it. It is just not easy to do. So anybody that tells you, oh, it's super easy, you can do it in a week, you can do it in a day, that's a lie. It takes a little bit of time. There are some traders that I've met that have learned everything in a month and trade. I was not like that. It took me years, people. It literally took me two years of losing money every freaking day and hating myself, being sad about it. And I went through so many emotional rifts. It took me a long time to make strategies. And then it took me even longer to be emotionally confident enough to stick to my strategies and not let the market determine trades for me. And that was probably the hardest part. And I hope you guys get through that part faster than I did. And today's goal is to show you guys a spreadsheet of this meme token strategy that I have been using for a while. And it's actually done me wonders last year. And I hope to continue using this. And it's such a mathematically easy to use strategy. It just involves consistency. So let's, here, let me pull up the spreadsheet and get into it. But before we do, actually, do me a favor, everybody. Click that subscribe button. We are almost at 2,500. We're so close. And I really hope these videos bring you guys value and give you a chance to actually make some good trades and make some good money and maybe change the trajectory of the feature you're worried about. Also, if you are a great trader or just want to freaking trade on leverage like some people do and are not afraid to take that risk, use the margex below. It makes it easy. It lets you leverage different assets that then thus protecting you way better than like from liquidation than some of the other exchanges so please use that link it really does help the channel you guys all right but let's get into the strategy because it's freaking sick so i broke it down with the spreadsheet as you guys keep watching i know i haven't made much but i'm a spreadsheet nerd i literally do everything on sheets we have a whole company that just makes sheets all day for all of us super duper worth it all right but this is my strategy I believe that mean token hunting is kind of like a smarter casino, but it's a smarter casino for us. Where like the casino, you're always guaranteed to lose. In meme token world, you're in control of your loss and you're in control of your trading strategy. I try to get into 50 meme token trades a month if I can. That's always my goal. And then depending on how I'm doing, I will then put in here how much I'm putting in. So, so here. I'll walk you guys through that in just one sec. But let's assume we get into 50 trades. And every trade we put in 0.045 Ethereum. This was just built on the Ethereum chain math. Right? If we did that currently with the price of Ethereum, it is $99.88 per trade that we're jumping in. And this is just valuing it as of today. Right? So if we assume that, and we assume that 9 all the way down to 50. So basically 41 just fail fully we lose all the money which is really ironic because that's what people think will happen but that actually doesn't happen to me throughout the month i would say 20 of them i still pull out my initial and they still run up a bit and i still make a couple of percent and and maybe another 30 don't do jack crap and they do zero out but a lot of times i even pull out half of the balance or even the lowest i've ever pulled out was like 20 percent of the balance that i started with so it's never really a full zero unless that thing got rugged or just went to zero, which is not in your control or mine. You can't do anything about that, and that's okay. But it's in the strategy to protect us from that. So if we see this, all these zeros are okay to lose, right? And here, let me show you the whole sheet. So these are all okay to lose. But if we add all this up at the base of 0.045, which is now $100 because Ethereum keeps moving, it would roughly give us a total of $5,004. $5, and where that came to be is in total, it's 2.25 ETH. This multiplies the price of ETH by that. So that's the current right now price of ETH 
So we're looking roughly at five thousand dollars worth of ETH. I put in that it's a fifty or it's a fifteen dollar fee. All depends on the gas fees. We don't control that shit, you guys. Freaking one minute is ten bucks, one minute is three dollars. So I put it at the highest rate of fifteen, and I multiplied it by fifty trades a month, which gives me roughly seven fifty. So for me to run these plays, it's roughly going to cost me five thousand seven hundred fifty-four dollars, besides my trading time. And I do use trading bots, so it makes it ten times easier to calculate or to to be able to get in and get out of this. And then it's easier to calculate which ones I took which risk. And then it's easy for my BCM team to come back in and do the math for my sheets. But if we were to take this risk, it'd be 5,754, right? Now let's break down the gains. And this is a thing that everyone's going to argue about or complain about. But I have done this month over month again and again and again. And I've met many people that I have. And I know you can too. Because there is literally no skill. It's just speed and consistency. Okay, so out of these, let's assume that one, two, and three, this one, we just pull out initial, we pull out initial, and then this one doubles. And I'm telling you guys, at least 10 of these double for me because they do move in market cap. I'll get in at 100K and it might get to 250K. And as long as you take out your initial, you're always safe to get to the next play, right? So that's where this assumption comes into be, right? And again, that's such a small assumption. It's more than that, but I love assuming worse and always getting better. And then we put these as first base. So, so here we even took it a step and said, okay, this will double. But like these, we assume this will go 4.5x. And this is so easy. You guys look, let's assume we took this at a 200K market cap and it got to a million dollars, which happens to a token once a day that would be a 4.5x okay and then here let's assume we got in at 100k right and then we pull out at a million dollar market cap that is 100 percent doable i did that three times last week alone right and then you look at these 50 50 and 100x that is a little bit more difficult and a lot of times that is luck but my rule is the minute it doubles i always pull out my initial so i can continue playing and get to the next hit right so if you do it that way, you have more than 50 transactions a month, which would mess up the fees, but it won't matter if you're always pulling out your initial, right? And if we assume 100x, 50x, and 50x, here's the funny part, XRP, 1,000x. I got into Miro, and I think Miro, 30x for me. I was in Fing, and Fing, for me, was 40x, or 4x. So it would have fit right here, right? Like, there are so many opportunities moving in the market and it's just being able to get in and get out and move your money as fast as money is moving, right? And if you have access to information, then you're more than likely going to be able to hit a lot more of these first base and home runs. And remember, it's meme tokens. They move so fast. They're extremely volatile. That's the reason we trade this shit, boys. Because if as is volatility, we have an opportunity to make life-changing money once a month. Now, with this strategy, all right, let's break down the actual numbers of what you gain from this shit right here. So with this breakdown, and we are okay to understand that three of them hit pretty well, right? And, and 100 is not even that great. I think that they will 1,000x, as that has happened a lot. But let's just to do the 100x, because that's very much feasible. That's super doable. That's going from 100k to 10 million market cap. That's going from 10k to 1 million market cap. That's going from... 15k to 1.5 million market cap so it's doable is what i'm trying to say it's very very doable especially if you're very constant in the meme world so look at it this way 42 we assume just fully strike zeroed out two we assume hit the ball okay that's these bad boys three we assume hit first base and then lastly three we assume did a home run at that breakdown that's 50 total trades in this example with 100 percent right and then now let's look at this. Ah, it's not letting me scroll. Mm, I know what I got to do. Boom. There we go. So now in here, okay? Now let's look at the statistics. So with, uh, uh, I'll show you guys here. So with these, it adds up to being 9.80. So we put in 2.25 ETH as a risk. It's 9.8. I always subtract the remaining number of ETH. Why do I do that? Because I want to play again next month. If you don't think about that and you pull out your profits, your if you pull out all your profits plus your initial consistently like out of the market, you can't play. So I always leave back at least the main base ETH. And I'm actually about to do this for the Solana network and the BNB network because I've started to trade a lot more on there. So 
When I do that math, I'm assuming we still have 7.58 ETH left. And then when we multiply this by the current price of ETH, from this strategy here alone, taking 50 random meme token bets, we would be at a roughly profit of $16,888. And if you do this every month, that is a damn beautiful salary with a very, very small start that many of us could risk to be able to play something like this. And let me take it to the levels that I've actually seen, like... Like some months last year, I'd get 800x. I'd get like 100. Okay, let's just even do 80x, 75x. I would get 30, 10, 10, maybe freaking five, two, 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 and then one, 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 one. And on average, it's just a quick guess. I, I, and look at this. Like this is just one example of the month. So it's super duper doable, especially if you hit better transactions. Again, I just always like to have lower numbers listed. And one more thing, once I do this on the Sol network or Solana blockchain, and I do this on the BNB blockchain, the fees are going to be so much less, which will help me here as well. So it's just something to think about. I really hope this strategy helps you guys better trade and navigate the meme token world. My recommendation, if you follow the 10 crypto commandments, right, 10 meme token commandments, and you follow a, a consistent strategy like this, you're gonna have a way better probability to A, make life-changing money, but B, free yourself of the rat race, they say. All right, I really hope this video helped. Do me one more favor, you guys. If it did, share it. Give somebody else an opportunity to make better decisions on trading by listening to a very simple, simple strategy like this. And maybe it fits them differently. Maybe they can do an ETH every time. Maybe they can do two ETH every time. I did it with only 0.045 ETH in this example. Oh, let's do it with 0.2 of an ETH, that's $500. Look at the difference. That's 75K in profit. Yeah, we risked 22K, 10 whole ETH, but look what we got out of it with those lower statistics. So that's just something to keep in mind, everybody. All right, hey, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. And don't forget that Marjex, oh, one more thing. If you want access to get information, which helped me last freaking week, made it a lot easier. Join the HG Access. I've got the link below. Please look it up. There's a free version. You can kind of see what's in there. But it's literally where I'm finding a lot more information about plays that are upcoming. And, and this agency is able to give me info about the things that are coming up marketing-wise, which entail gives me the opportunity to take the risk that I didn't see before. So just keep that in mind, you guys. The, uh, trading is about consistency, information, and emotional control. And I know you can do it. All right? Thank you, everybody. Let's make some life-changing money this month again. All right?